Oh, 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 oh man, guys. So it begins as this Medium article starts off. The token sale is now announced for Atlas and Polis, what they'll be using to distribute these coins, and pretty much everything you need to know. So let's get into it. And to do that, I'm gonna just open up the Medium article right here. So it begins, countdown to launch of Star Atlas token sale on FTX, Radium, and Apollo X. I have not heard of the Apollo one, but we will get into that down below. Uh, we're going to pick out certain parts of this article that uh, go a little bit more in depth, but we're gonna just read this. We're gonna review it here. Um, Atlas and Polis, two tokens powering the next-gen blockchain gaming metaverse, are set to release as an initial exchange offering on FTX, an initial DEX offering on Radium and Apollo X later this month. So this is super exciting. Atlas is gonna be actually more of the in-game token, while Polis is gonna be more of a governance token, token of influence, and what you will need to establish political dominance in Star Atlas. So I highly recommend coming over and reading for yourself, as uh, many of you guys who have heard of Star Atlas before already know, they're mixing play to earn, uh, DeFi features they have, an economics team going. Um, so it's a really, really cool project. Um, but let's get into like a little bit more of the details here. Um, an amount of Atlas and Polis tokens equal to $1 million will be allocated through FTX initial exchange offering. An additional 500,000 of Atlas and Polis tokens will be available for sale through the initial decentralized exchange offerings on Radium and Apollo. These channels ensure fair, equal, and widely distributed token sale that is in line with the value Star Atlas represents. Um, so let's go on to what these platforms actually are. They have a nice paragraph about it here. FTX is an innovative cryptocurrency exchange with exponentially increasing product offerings, including blockchain-based derivative products. So I have used FTX before. I do like it. Um, one note I'm going to say is make sure you do go and check out these platforms before the date of the token sale, um, because at least from experience, I know with FTX, when I was trying to buy posters, they have a limit, I believe, of $1,000 that you can remove from the exchange until you go through all the, I don't know if it's a KYC exactly, but some type of vetting process. <laughs> um, so make sure you have that kind of in your mind that, you know, go sign up for these places. Um, check them out, maybe make a purchase or two yourself so you, so you know how these work, so you're all ready for that day. Apollo X is an IDEO platform that creates uh, inclusivity in the ecosystem by increasing the opportunities for participating in upcoming and exciting decentralized projects. Um, Radium is an automated market maker. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys... Just go check this stuff out. It's uh, it's on the Solana blockchain for those of you guys who are, who are brand new to this. And, and then it says stay tuned for more details. We don't get an official date. However, for you meta poster holders, we do get a date change. So this is really important. Um, so instead of August 30th, they're changing the, um, the snapshot to August 25th. Okay, so this is interesting then. The NFT badges get dropped on the 26th, which I that may be used to give you an advantage. They do mention an advantage for meta poster holders um, in getting Atlas and Polis earlier on in the article. Um, but looks like our assets, the rest of them will be uh, dropped seven days later on September 2nd and not August 31st. As, uh, as we originally were told. No problem with that whatsoever. Um, just looking forward to <laughs> getting those assets in my wallet. Looking forward to the token sale here. So it looks like the token sale might, I don't know, this is this is me just thinking right now, might take the initial dates of the meta poster snapshot because if we are supposed to get an advantage um, in the token sale and they're dropping the badge on the 26th, that means that the date will probably be after the 26th because it may be going by like 
what tier badge you hold is like when you could buy that token or how much. I'm not sure. This is all just speculation here, guys. So let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys have heard. Uh, let's all get ready for this token sale. Uh, and then later for the uh, asset sale. This is this is exciting stuff. This is still the beginning though. If you're early, if you missed the meta posters, no worries. Yeah, you guys, we're all early here. So <laughs> we have a tons of time here. Hit that subscribe button for more Star Atlas videos. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future as well. And I'll make sure to put them down in the list. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're doing another uh, meta poster reaction. Peace out, guys.